Hello first graders, welcome to a new math lesson. We are in topic 11, lesson 3, subtracting 10 from two-digit numbers. You have learned how to subtract 10 from two-digit numbers using a 100 chart. Today, you will be subtracting 10 from two-digit number, but we will be using our connecting cubes. All right, let's put a few examples for us here. Number one, mm, let's say I'm going to have 48 minus or subtract 30. So, I'm going to get my paper here, I'm going to have my 4 digits, so I have 4 tens, and that's my tens, and I'm going to put my ones, so I have 4 tens, make 40, and 8 ones, subtract 30, so that's my 48 minus 30. 30 means 3 tenths, so I need to take 3 tenths away from my uh, uh, first number I have. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take away 3 tenths, so this is 1, 2, 3. So what do I have? I have 1 ten, and my 1's I did not touch them because I only took away 3 tenths. I don't have 1's in my second added, so my answer will be very good, 18. So let's put this down here. So if you don't have your um, counters or uh, connecting cubes or you know something to use, you can always draw. So if I say 48, no problem, I can draw my tens like that. Pretend this is a 10, so this is 110, 20, 30, and 40. That's four tens, and then I'm going to put eight ones. Minus 30, that means taking away three tens. That will leave me with one ten, and my ones remain the same, so 18. All right, let's take another example, number two. Let's say mm, 64 minus 20. 64 minus 20. I'm going to get my connecting cube, so I have 10, 20, 30, 40, I need 64, right? 50, 60, and then the four ones. Here's my four ones. Minus 20 means two tens, so I'm going to take away two tens. This is one ten, and that is the second ten. Two tens means 20. So I have now what's remaining, what's the difference? 10, 20, 30, 40, so I have 40, four tens, and my answer would be 44, right? Let's do another example. Uh, let's say 52 um, minus 40. I'm making up. You can choose any numbers you want. So 52 minus 40, that means I have to have 5 tens. So this is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and only two ones. Okay, so that's my first add-in. I'm taking away four tens, 40. So one, 10, 20, 30, 40. That's leave me with one 10 and two ones. That's 10, 11, 12. So 52 take away 40 equals 12. All right, let's have another example. Number four, let's say 35 minus 10. So 35. That's mean here's 10, 20, 30, and then I have five ones. Here's my five ones. Take away 10, that's mean I'm taking away losing one 10 only. That leave me with two tens, means 20, and my ones remain the same because I didn't take any. So my ones would be the same. So 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 25, my answer. All right? So that's. Uh, the first page of uh, lesson three on topic 11. Let's turn the page and see what we have inside. All right. You can subtract tens from a number. And this is the example, 57 minus 20. So that we have five tens, one, two, three, four, five, and that's the 50, and then seven ones. Then we're going to cross out the tens to subtract. How many? Two tens. Let's cross out two tens. 
that leaves us the difference will be three tens and seven ones. My ones remain the same, so thirty-seven. So fifty-seven minus twenty equals thirty-seven. So the ten digits changes and the one remain the same because I'm not subtracting anything from the one, I'm just subtracting from the tens. All right. Because over here, when I subtract 20, I only have two tens, but I don't have any ones. Over here, I have the ones. So that's why the, that's, this ones remain the same and I have it in my difference. Okay, let's do the guide practice. Number one, write each number sentence. So you need to count how many tens and you're gonna write it. And then you see which, how many tens it's crossed out and we're gonna write it here. So the first one is done for us. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and one, two, three, four. So six tens and four ones, that's 64 minus, they cross out four tens, one, two, three, four, so minus 40. So what we have left is the difference, 20, and my ones remain the same, 24. Let's do number together. Count how many um, tens you have. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. So 47 minus, count how many tens is, are crossed out. 1, 2, minus 20. So what do we have left? Two tens means 20, and then my ones remain the same, which is 7. So the answer is 27. Okay, let's go for number three. So easy, count what we have, 10, 20, 30. I don't have any ones, so I have 30. And how many tens are crossed out? I have two tens crossed out, so that means minus 20. My answer will be one ten left. All right, let's go for number four. Let's count 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 71 and 72. So my first add in 72. How many I need to cross out? How many tens? Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, minus 50. Okay, what's the difference? I have 10, 20, 21, 22. 22. Awesome. Let's go for number four. Okay, let's count how many. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58. So I have 58. And how many tens did I cross out? 1, 2, 3, 10, 20, 30, minus 30. So the difference will be 10, 20, and my ones will be the same because I, don't, I didn't take any ones, I only crossed out 10, so my ones, the eight will remain the same. So 28, 28, right? Let's go for number six. Let's see, count total number we have, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 80. I don't have any ones, so my total number is 80. Taking away, let's count how many tens are crossed out. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, minus 60, and then my difference is 22 tens. Easy. All right. Let's see. Um, do you understand? All right. Which digit changes when you subtract tens? Which digit stays the same? Explain. As we explain up there, when you um, uh, subtract tens, only the tens uh, change, but the ones remain the same. So we need to put this down. changes but the ones stay the same because we only subtract very good tens We can say we're talking about our cell phone and say I only subtract because I I 
on the subtract. Well, we subtract tens, not ones. Tens, not ones. Okay. Right, let's see. Independent practice, page 365, number 7. All right. Cross out the tens, write the difference. All right, for this example, they put for you the number sentence. Remember, the guided practice, we need to write the number sentence. And the cross out, it's done for us. This one is the opposite. This one, they already put the number sentence. You need to see how many you need to subtract and you cross it out. So let's see number seven, 46, take away 30. So I need to cross out how many tens, three tens. So this is one, two, three. So that leave me with one ten, and then my ones remain the same because remember, I only subtract tens, not ones. So the ones will always remain the same. So I have one ten, and then the ones I know it's six here, so I'm gonna put it down. All right, number eight, 70 minus 40. There is no ones, so I'm gonna cross out 40, means four tens, one, two, three, four, that leave me with the difference is 10, 20, 30. So 70 minus 40 equals 30. All right, let's go for number nine. 59 minus 20, I need to cross out two tens, because two tens means 20, that leave me with 10, 20, 30, and then my ones remain the same, so 39. Okay, number 10, 60, take away 50. So I need to cross out 5 tens. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. The difference is 10, 1 10. Number 11, 90, take away 30. So I need to cross out 30 means 3 10, 10, 20, 30. That leaves us with 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And then number 12, 85 minus 40, you got it. Cross out four tens, so 10, 20, 30, 40. So that leave us with 10, 20, 30, 40, and my ones, the five. All right, let's do number 13, number cents. Write the number that will complete the related addition. 70 minus 20 equals 50. So 50 plus what equals 70? If 70 take away 20 equals 50. So 50 plus what give me the 70? You got it, plus 20. Let me write 20 here. All right, let's go to page 366 and see the exercise we have in the back, number 14. Solve the problems below. Use mental math to check. Chase has 67 toys car, toy cars. 40 of the cars are blue. So he has 67. 40 out of the 67 are blue. That means the rest are red. We need to find out the red. We need to find how many are red. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put my 67. That's all what he has. And then I'm gonna subtract or take away the 40 blue cars, the 40 I know, the difference would be that numbers of cars that Chase have in red. All right, so 67, I get my counters, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and then I have my 167 here, four, five, six, and seven. So I'm taking away four tens. Oh, this is one, 10, 20, 30, 40. That leave me with two tens and my ones remain the same because I did not subtract any ones. So 20 and the seven. So 27. That means she is have 27 red car. So he has 40 blue car and 27 red car total will make 67 car. All right, let's go for number 15. Gina collects 45 stamps. She gives 20 stamps to Ross. 
which number sentence shows how many stamps Gina has left. So total she has 45, she give away 20. So I'm looking for 45, giving away means subtracting. So I'm looking for 45, take away 20. All right, let me see. Is it A, 40 minus 20? No. Is it B, 40 plus 20? No. Is it C, 45 minus 20? Yes. So 45 minus 20 equals 25. So my choice is C, that's my answer. All right, let's see number 16, the journal. Janet wants to solve 86 minus 40. Draw a picture to help Janet find the difference. Write the subtraction sentence. So we're gonna do exactly what we did, but we're gonna draw it. So what are we gonna do? Total 86, I'm gonna draw eight tens and six ones. So let me first put that sentence, 86 minus 40. I'm gonna draw eight tens so so far I have four tens that's 40 and 50 60 70 80 and then 86 I need to make six ones so one two three four five six minus 40 that's mean I need to cross out four tens 40 means four tens so one two three four ten twenty thirty forty so what's the difference what do I have ten twenty thirty forty and my ones the six so the total is forty six all right so that's what we covered today we learn and practice how to subtract tens from two digit numbers not using the chart hundred chart like the previous lesson using our um, counters or connecting cubes all right that's it for today first graders thank you bye bye